Lack of accountability. Those are two main issues laid out in a report by the Office of the Inspector General looking back at the Chicago Police Department's response to protests after George Floyd's death last summer. WGN's Brona Tumulty is live at CPD headquarters to break it all down for us. Brona? Good evening. Yeah, the report says CPD was underprepared and ill-equipped to deal with the events that transpired in Chicago in late May and early June of last year, saying the department's response was, among other things, marked by confusion and a lack of coordination. And now some are calling for the superintendent to step down. We need people that understand the city. Jamal Green speaking out today following the release of a scathing report on what happened in Chicago following the death of George Floyd. We knew this and we were saying this at the time that uh, CPD was not handling uh, protests well. The inquiry conducted by the Office of the Inspector General slammed CPD saying the department let down the public and its own frontline officers, specifically in three key areas. Officers didn't even have body cameras um, at most of these uh, situations. Policy gaps just like that are one of the major breakdowns according to the report, along with the department's mass arrest process in which members had not been trained on in years and a failure to fulfill reporting obligations with respect to things like use of force. The real suspect here is the city of Chicago. In response, CPD says the department conducted its own review after the unrest, a statement saying in part the review included discussion about areas that required improvement during the large-scale emergency response, including accountability, planning and preparedness, command and control, training and communication. We're told the results of that review saw changes implemented in those areas. The mayor also releasing a statement to us today, which reads in part the fact that CPD, under the leadership of Superintendent Brown, has owned responsibility responsibility for its challenges and embrace the opportunity to do better is noteworthy. There were a number of lessons learned and opportunities for improvement that were put into place over the course of the summer and fall. But Green isn't convinced. There are no changes. The police department doesn't make changes uh, immediately. So if they say that they did, um, they're outright lying. And says Superintendent David Brown needs to go. The superintendent should be fired or he should resign immediately. We don't have time for second chances. When you, when you understand that somebody is not right uh, in a certain leadership position, it's time to make changes. Now, the report goes on to say that the events of last year may have set CPD and the city back significantly in their efforts to foster trust with members of the community. The entire report is about 150 pages long. If you'd like to read the whole thing, we're going to get the link for it up on our website under this story. We're live outside CPD. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. All right, Brona, thank you. Turning now.